it's Richard, RJ Coins. We have another little bundle here for my great Aussie coin hunt. Uh, these are all purchases I've made in the UK uh, via eBay, scrolling around the different listings, etc., and seeing something a bit different and a bit new for me that I could find. So hopefully you'll think that I have found some good additions to uh, my collection uh, for some decent prices. So let's see what we get. So the first one is a $2,009, 60 years of Australian citizenship. With a, a Melbourne privy mark, which you can see just there at the top right. And that one was under five pounds, so around about the equivalent of nine dollars. Two thousand and thirteen lunar year of the snake, fifty cent. The lunar years are always uh, good designs. So there we have 2013's Snake. That one was, where are we? Uh, around about nine pounds, so about $18, possibly a little bit over for that one. But I bought them as part of a little bundle. All of these particular ones here, these first six are all from from one bundle, so I got uh, a combined postage as well, which sort of takes the edge off one that might be a little bit over, but I think there's a couple of bargains in here as well. So this uh, is Douglas Mawson dollar. Which is from 2012, Inspirational Australians. Let's show you a little bit of the information on the back if you did want to pause and read a bit more about the detail under the coin. Then this one was under seven pounds, so about fourteen dollars. We've got another inspirational Australians, this one from 2010, which is Fred Hollows. But neither of those I know too much about. But I know a little bit more than I did. So a series commemorating people who have made an extraordinary contribution to society. Again, that was the same, under seven pounds, so under $14. I've got a year of the farmer in 2012. That's quite a cool design, I think. There we go. Quite simplistic but effective, that one. Focus on that. Always good to recognise the farmer. We don't eat without a farm. And then I've got this one which is a little bit different. Federal Parliament, 1901 to 2001. An Australia Post pack. Looks a little bit different in the format. We've got the dollar and also we've got a florin. 1951 florin in there. 
as well as of course the uh, stamps. So that's a little bit different. I don't know if I gave the price of the farmer one. The, uh, the farmer was £11, so about $22. Again, possibly on the pricier side for that one. Uh, this particular centenary pack was £9, about $18. Quite pleased with that, a little bit different again. So that was all in one purchase from one seller for under £50 posted, so under £100. Uh, $100 posted. I then picked up the Great Aussie Coin Hunt number 2, 2021. We've got the empty pack there. But the reason I went for it is that I don't have them in this format. So I do have the A to Z's in the folder and, uh, and loose. But I quite like the idea of just having something a bit different. So here's the Akubra for A. And these nice little flip holders. So they are exposed. They're not inside any protective flips and such like. But because uh, it's quite a nice little format and a bit different. Each of them with the little envelope to store them in as well. I do like finding something that is new for me, whether it's the format or the coin. So we've got the whole 26 A to Z set, and that one I managed to pick up for just £17.50 posted, so around about $35. I think that's a, a decent effort for that one. And then I have one more part here, uh, and we are approaching November the 11th and Remembrance Day and I have managed to pick up something very special now I already have again this and in fact I have a couple of spare already uh, but when I saw this one available for just over £50 it's cost me equivalent of about $105. I couldn't leave that one on the shelf. So it's the 2022 C Mint marked Remembrance Day Red Poppy. $2 coin. Which I think is an absolute bargain. A little bit of mark on the card there, but nothing too significant. Coin looks in absolutely tip top condition. Very pleased with that one. So, overall, this little lot has cost me, I think it's around £117, which is about $235 equivalent. Uh, I think that is pretty good going overall hopefully you've liked that do hit that like button that thumbs up would be much appreciated uh, i have noticed that in recent months there's been a lot more views and a significant amount from people that haven't subscribed so it would be much appreciated if you did choose to subscribe there's lots of other content to view for example if you wanted to see each of the a to z designs there will be another video back in the archive of the whole set to go through and uh, appreciate you taking the time to, to have a look and hopefully you'll come back again. Thanks very much.